Hey, is that my shirt? Today! Call the police! Ow, woman! Ow! Mm -hmm. Who set the table? I did, Miss Hill. I should have known. Okay, pay attention. The plate should be centered on the placemat. The salad fork goes on the left in the nine o'clock position. The knife goes on the right, sharp side pointed towards the plate so nobody gets their arm cut. And the glasses go above the knife and hopefully without fingerprints. This is nasty. Who got six fingers? <laughs> She's talking about you, Judy. Now I remember you. You were that little bougie girl that my Bobby took to the prom. Worst day of my baby boy's life. Well, maybe if you hadn't showed up to the prom dinner to cut up his meat, it would have gone better. Plus, you stole my seat and my corsage. Oh, oh she got a point there, mama. Bobby still don't know how to use a knife. He know how to use hair grease, though. Now listen here, Lisa, big bone Don't let me have to come over there and slap a knot upside your chin. Sugar mama, would you relax? <laughs> She's our guest. Thank you, Mrs. Proud. But you should have spoken sooner. After all, it is your house. No, but let me go. You know what? I'm starting to like you, Miss Hill. You can stay until tomorrow. Look here, Skinny Ty. All you can do for me is write a 500-word essay on why your snacks are so nasty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, you can talk about my mama and my wife, but nobody talks about my snacks. And get my shirt back. That's it. Thanks to Skinny Ty, you all got detention for a week. <laughs>